Give it you a like a heart? Oh, you don't like a heart, do you? That's my email address. Yes. You like a heart? Yes. Sorry. 89 pounds, thank you. Sorry? 89 pounds. Here we go. Okay. There's 11. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, I'm not a man of routine, but I like a little bit of a routine. And get in the mornings, I tend to kind of set the desk up, you know, get my laptop out, connect it all up, make sure it's connected to the internet. Then I go and put the kettle on. This morning I had um, a couple of meetings in yesterday, so I had a few things to wash up, chatting away to other residents in the building, talking about golf and stuff like that. Made myself a lovely cup of tea, went to pour the milk in it, and it came out in lumps. <laughs> Word. <laughs> so, first mission of the day, go and buy milk. Back from the co-op, whilst I was walking up the stairs, and I'm always out of breath, <sighs> <coughs> bumped into Sanjeev, he's one of the solicitors that works downstairs, and he said to me, what's a vlog? Hmm. And I kind of, well, it's a daily video, blah, blah, blah. But I said, it's kind of selfish, really. <laughs> and it is a bit. This will be something I can look back on when I'm a granddad, I suppose. Um, but yeah, is it selfish? Are you enjoying it? I well, don't suppose you'd be watching it if you weren't. Or maybe this is the first time you've ever come across me. Dunno. I've got milk. Time for tea. So tonight has taken an interesting turn. I was supposed to be going to the Digital Exeter event, in Exeter of course, um, but I knew there was this Radio Academy event coming up and I've just seen one of my friends talk about it on Facebook. So I got in touch with my boss at the radio station and said, did I get tickets for this? He said, just buy them through this link. I went to that link, I bought the ticket. I'm off to Plymouth tonight. It's an audience with Greg James, who's a Radio 1 presenter, just in case you don't know. He's actually been interviewed by one of my friends, John White, who is the breakfast presenter down at Radio Plymouth. So it's just going to be a bit of a bit of a jolly, really, if I'm honest. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, I'll see if I can do some vlogging down there later on. But it's a bit of a Q&A session and interview, so probably won't be much of that going on. But I'll see what I can get. Should be a good event. I'll take you along for the drive. I will fall over them one day. Right, in next now, off to see a client talking websites and social media launches got a new business he wants to launch, so good times ahead. It's a nice day here as well. <laughs> see that? Right, now turn around. Look how much better the lighting is when oh, you do that. I want to buy one of those, because if I've got to do this, look now. There you go. So the lighting like that, now let's turn around. Right. And look how bad the lighting is. So much worse. Oh, oh god, yeah. Look, it's adorable. Ooh. So yeah, whenever you're doing... That is pretty good. It's all right, it's a good little camera. How much is that one? 300 only. Oh, I got one. 300? No, what's, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> this. I am recording this, you realise that, don't you? Really? Very fine looking at my You're going to be in the vlog! Hooray! <laughs> yeah. Time to go and see what this is all about. I wonder if they let me in with my camera. <laughs> yeah, why not? See what's going on here? No, it's just purely my own personal. Say cheese! 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 Cheese!
That's a good word for working radio. We don't know what to use. We're local radio jobs. We don't know what to use. So, Martin, why are we here tonight? We're here tonight for the very first meeting of the Radio Academy. Exciting. And who's the special guest tonight? The special guest tonight is Mr. Talking. Spanky. From your city for Exeter, Mid and East Devon, it's your Radio X. 9.50 in the morning, good grief, what a year. Uh, 1973, how does that sound for the Golden Hour from BBC Radio X. This is James Dunlin here, welcome to Hearts. Uh, it's a whole ad in Cornish, this is going to be on the screen uh, from Monday night. I'm just going to make you stand out. Was there a lot of that there? With with the people that I just are naturally that are massive, like like Moyles uh, and and like well, Scott Mills at the time as yeah. well. Is there a lot of whenever anybody new comes in? Because it kind of happens in, in in our area down here. You get somebody yeah. new through the door, and everybody's kind of like, "Oh my God, who is this? Who is this? How good Let's find some dirt on them." Exactly. Is, is it naturally yeah. the big stars are that insecure? Insecure is probably a, a harsh word. Everyone Everyone's mad. Yeah. Everyone's yeah. Mad. everyone's, <laughs> everyone's uh, a, a bit insane. To them. Everyone, everyone worries. Yeah, of course they do. And what, what, in your experience, are the best sort of social media posts to do to generate either a reaction or engagement? Just so that it's unique, I think, and funny. I, 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 as long as I think that's every everything we do on the show has to be funny or silly. That's the thing that fascinates me. I think about social media is that if you look at your Facebook page, it's basically a reflection of you, and that's that's what that's the image of you you want to portray. So if you're posting a video that you find funny, you're telling all your friends, you go, I find this funny, therefore I'm funny. So I'm going to just record a little something, that's right. Oh, uh, okay, we're vlogging, are we? Can we turn around, because then we'll get, there the light's better. Oh, much better light. Yeah. Oh, I should have had all my photos this way. Should you? Yeah, because the light's much better. See, now you can see. <laughs> my hair, okay. Nice. Okay, okay good. Great, Where, just... Where's this going to go? On my vlog. Mm. Matt Young's vlog. There you go. What's it? Is it got a funky name? No, it's just Matt's Mr. Matt Young's vlog. Oh, you can give it a Young name. at Heart. You don't oh, work at Heart, do you? That's my email address. Yes. Do you work at Heart? <laughs> do, you, do you call yourself that on air? Matt.youngatheart.co.uk. Do you call yourself Young at Heart? No. You should do. do you th okay, that, is that my thing? <laughs> yeah, oh, that's your thing. That's it. Yes. Young at yeah, Heart. Clearly, yeah, it has to be Young at Heart. Yeah. <laughs> what a thoroughly, thoroughly nice bloke he is. Really nice guy. Um, <laughs> You know, he's like 30, and he's achieved so much. What a top man, just really enjoyed it, really humble, loves what he does for a living, and does it really well, one of the best. Nice to meet you. Anyway, time to drive home now, about an hour I think. Gonna be a late one editing the vlog this evening. Very excited. <laughs> Hello, what is this? Yeah, there you go. Cheers. Are you recording me? No, I'm recording these. Do you want to be on camera? No. No? No, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Facebook. Uh, Facebook. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Tractor. That's what you get for living in Devon. Lots of tractors. Bad man, whose name I forget, but we know each other by face, was asking me why I do it, why I vlog. I said it's kind of like a, I never kept a diary as a kid, but it's like that a little bit. But yeah, you know, it's a small town I live in, people think it's weird, they'll get used to it. <laughs> right, I might sign off now because I've got to go home, eat the kebab. I've got a small one, it's late, and um, I've got to edit this vlog together. So, yeah, got to end it. And I like to end it on the word end. Matt Young's vlog. 